So they got a really nice deck up here, uh, porch off of the bait house, and here's where they have their tank. They put the fish up here to weigh it with their scales and keep the fish refreshed until they get it back down again, okay? On this one here on this lake, you can drive so far out and around here. The rest of this, you have to walk all the way through. I believe they may let you drive to a point here and then again, you walk to catch over the rest of the way. So we're going to come down here and walk it and check out the lake. It is spring fed. Looks like you took out the fire barrels, which is nice. I kind of like that. There's issues on what guys would do with the fire barrels, so he replaced them with really nice pits. Those are kind of nice. Keeps it contained. He's got an aerator out there, as you can see. And last time I taped out here, Mark was telling me that this area here is actually a really good area to hit. And see, so he does have parking around, so you can drive apparently around it and uh, park down through here. That's another improvement Mark's made for you. He's definitely stepping this lake up. Because before all this was uh, just grass. And so. Yeah, your shelters. Come down into the stand. There's a possibility. It looks like he's blocked it off there, but he's able to come around there if he needs to. But you see, the different fire pits, he's got spaced out for everybody to use. They try to run a top-notch lake here. This lake's been in existence for quite a long time. And uh, it's been sold, bought a lot of times over. But Mark and Lisa have had it now for a couple years and the improvements and they're bringing it to life. That's a good lake to come to. It is only one lake. However, he keeps it well stocked. You saw the pictures of how he stocked it there. And he does a good job. They keep it clean. They take care of it. There's also, I believe he said, a creek that uh, runs back off here that can feed in here too somehow. It comes back into like underground. I know you got this creek over here, but there's something else back in this hill that he told me about. And I'm not sure on that one. So he's rather busy at the moment. So we're walking back around and be able to show you the other side. And take it from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed these shows. I really try to get out here and do something good. I think over there where you see the, um, like a fence there would be the other creek I'm talking about that washes in and helps feed this as well. But you keep it clean and take care of it and they'll take care of you out here. They don't believe in doing the tournaments. They try to keep this as a family run. They don't want to throw people off. The tournaments they have is you're going to take a best shot you've got for a spot, but people will not be asked to move for you. But they do have their cat cash night. That's pretty cool. If you see over here, we've got another aerator. And this is the deeper area. This is the area most people go for. Watch it, you walk through. And over here is where he puts the fish in. Because I came out here once with that. We put the fish in on that end. So, but it's a nice lake. If you come in out of uh, Eaton, it's really not that far of a drive if you don't miss the turn off. The turn off there was a little hit on us. Once we got it, it was no time at all and we were here. If you come off out of what's Alexander and Lewisburg that way, you do have to travel on the bomb up about a little further than what you think. You pass a private lake and then you come up to this one. But if you get the chance, 
and what a nice evening relaxing good people good fun good clean fun come on out here and check out spring water you won't be sorry you did it's fish lady I don't know if you guys can see out there in the distance this man caught himself a nice fish and he's got it in the net he's not gonna bring it up to get it weighed in but he probably weighed it from there because he took it back to his truck and you see how he's fixing his net to set this baby back in he's doing exactly what every fisherman should do good tender care to him so they live long and hardy and you can catch them again and he just set it free wish I'd caught it but you know there's activity out here you do catch them 